Welcome to the place. This is a channel where the whole concept is we can openly discuss race and ethnicity and DNA test results and background, all that stuff. We have open conversations about it without getting offended. At least I'm not getting offended. Sometimes I'll test the border to find out is this offensive? Sometimes you have to ask before you can know. And sometimes I make videos that are kind of on that line. Let's talk about one. I made a video quite recently with, with my mom. We were in the garage there with the Jeep in the background. And the video was simply called My Mom's Jewish Hair and Semitic Lips. And it didn't get flagged by YouTube. They allowed ads on it. So apparently that, that's not offensive. Uh, but John Monteroso had a comment that he left on it saying, quote, that comment is not in any way a harmful comment or, or rude. I just think it's wrong to stereotype. He goes on in the same video to leave another comment saying, quote, this video is really stereotypical. Not every Jew has Jewish lips. That is just Hitler propaganda, same as the nose and ears, end quote. So here's what I'm going to say. I personally have no shame in stereotyping people. I openly do it all the time. In fact, if you try to sort through videos that I do not stereotype people, then this channel has maybe like 20 videos because that's mainly what I'm doing uh, in my videos. As we openly talk about race and ethnicity, knowing that that's the open conversation, granted, there's going to be stereotyping involved. And what's interesting is, and I, I love to point this out, the people who don't like the fact that I stereotype typically are not part of the group being stereotyped and John Monteroso being of, of Italian ascent I'm assuming is not Jewish though my mom's side it came from the, the Jewish DNA came from Italy so maybe so but either way typically the people who are pointing this out are not part of the group that's being stereotyped the, the group being stereotyped never leaves me comments and says they're offended by it so I do think that's interesting but for me, the whole point of this channel is that I stereotype people. Now, there's definite a negative way to do it, and I think a neutral way to do it, and maybe even a positive way to do it. I'll give you some examples. So obviously, the negative ways, I'm, well, I'm not going to give examples. We can think of ways that we could take any race or religion or whatever it is and give a negative stereotype for any of them. So I'm not going to do that because you're already thinking of three examples. You racist, you're the one thinking it in your head right now. That's on you, not on me. But there are neutral ways of stereotyping people. And, and I'll, I mean, I, I think even the Semitic Lips one, I mean, if, if it can be reduced to the fact that you're more likely to have fuller lips like this if you have Jewish DNA, that's a stereotype, but it's more like, there, there's, a con, there's a thing also called Jufro. And I only know this ab about this from Jewish actors in movies where they've said it, like Seth Rogen, Paul Rudd example, that if you're specifically a Jewish male and you have this curly hair, that's called a Jufro. It's implying that you're more likely to have thick black curly hair if you're Jewish as compared to if you were just simply from England and weren't of Jewish descent. To me, those are neutral stereotypes, which I openly use a lot. Then there's going to be positive stereotypes that I use. A lot of them are about Jewish people. I've, I've regularly mentioned the one about Jewish people being good at, at, at investing money and managing money. And there's a history on that. And I've explained because they were allowed to charge interest on loans where Christians and Muslims were not throughout history. Jewish people kept getting kicked out of places, religious persecution. And over time, the Jewish people landed in America finally. And we our culture and business is largely built on Jewish people. That's, there's a reason for that. To me, that's a positive stereotype. Here's another one. And only white people get offended by this stereotype. I've made the video, black people never get offended. Only white people. So I, I laugh when white people get offended by this. And something I've openly said on my videos before about black people is that in general, they're more patient. And there's a reason for that talk about all of the torture and ways that they were uh, treated so harshly. And, and, and everything I'm going to say is just, I can't speak strong enough language to say how poorly African people have been treated, especially in the United States. With that being said, 
a cultural side effect is in general black people black americans are more patient and understanding than white people i've made videos about this black people agree with me and are not offended white people get offended by that okay as long as i'm not offending black people by saying that because to me that's a positive stereotype i i recognize that and there was a saturday night live skit about it and with Reese Witherspoon, she was the tight up white lady who was at the bank. Meanwhile, uh, Leslie Jones' character was like, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait as long as you need. If I, if I can get my loan, yeah, I'll wait here. So this is something even pop culture ref references at this point. But my point is this. It's okay to stereotype. It's totally okay. I think we can learn more about each other if we do it as long as it's not in the negative way. You know, back in the, the 90s, it was this kind of... I'm colorblind, I don't see color. And here in the 2010s, it's, it's not that I was like, no, I totally see color and I totally see culture. We are, here in the United States, we're not a melting pot, we are chunky beef stew. We can ultimately see there's a potato, there's a carrot, there's a chunk of beef, there's an onion. We can see these and we can recognize and we don't have to pretend to be ignorant. And at the same time, we recognize we're all equal. We're not overall better or worse because of our ethnic background. We can point out certain things that are better about certain ethnic backgrounds and cultures. I don't see anything wrong with that. I've already said that in this video. We can even point out certain neutral things. As long as we're not pointing out the negative things, it's not hurting anybody. In fact, it's helping us. It's, it's giving us real conversations where we can be honest. It's a good thing. That's what this channel is about. If you think stereotyping other than negative stereotype. If you think neutral stereotyping and positive stereotyping are bad, you shouldn't be watching my videos because that's the majority of my comments that, that I have to say. That's the majority of my content. Now, it's your turn. Tell me what you think right here.